So basically there are various types of loss mechanisms in pumps for different specific speed regimes and it's important to identify those that affect your particular pump and then essentially with a good knowledge of flow physics gained from CFD and experiments uh, it's possible to arrive at the optimum blade loading for your specific centrifugal pump and pillar. So if profile loss is dominant then both hub and shroud should be overloaded and if secondary flows are dominant then hub should be less overloaded or even half loaded compared to the shroud and uh, backward stacking at the trailing edge will help to suppress the secondary flows. And uh, we saw some examples of this in the case that was shown and one of the nice things about inverse design is you can do parametric study which can guide you on what's the optimum loading. Our experience has shown that the choice of optimum loading for profile loss or secondary flow control has a generality and can be applied to other similar applications. For example, we find that for profile loss control, the type of loading that we use for pumps is uh, actually applicable to all, all types of pumps, mixed flow and centrifugal, and uh, regardless of the pump speed or size.